what I think this war is really about is not so much crushing and destroying American companies, it's trying to tame them and make them pliant. And, and in fact, our uh, opponents have made this argument for us. They have just told you that all the biggest companies in the United States are rushing, are falling over themselves to say, yes, of course, we love what Europe's doing. Of course, we can, we can implement those regulations because they can. So if that were the case, if, if what I read from Mark Zuckerberg was actually his, his you know, if, if, that were, if, if, if that was actually the point that he was trying to make, uh, he, would be, he would be out as CEO the next day, right? Because Mark Zuckerberg's goal is one goal primarily, right? Which is to grow his company, allow his company to expand. So what Mark Zuckerberg is clearly identifying, which we also see, and that was the point I tried to make by, by, the, by the sort of stated policies and behaviors to some extent of every American tech company, is to try to attempt to develop some balance at this point. And that balance is consistent with the EU regulations. So my point, again, is that this, this argument is really, the, the, these leaders of tech companies are not doing this because they are tamed. They're doing this because they're realizing there's a pathway forward whereby they can avoid all of these huge problems that have emerged in the last several okay, years. Okay, so Rosalind, what we're hearing your opponent saying is that, the, bottom line, Ramesh is arguing that the regulations, you're not quite putting this away, but are doing these companies a favor. They're, 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 they're giving them assistive situations. Right. So if we accept that they're profit-maximizing companies, I would be very concerned as a policymaker when any tech company comes to my door and says, please regulate me, because there's a profit motive behind it. This is a touchstone concept in the economics literature called regulatory capture. Regulation is created by industry and it's operated for its benefit. There is nothing that the EU would like better than to have maybe two or three large American tech companies which it lords over and controls all the little things and it's all going the way the EU wants for its five-year plan, rolling out this time at version number seven in the seventh month at the ninth hour and so on. That's how they want to do it. Now, Americans know it doesn't work that way, but we have this kind of history where government and industry makes an unholy alliance. Look at the Ma Bell Telephone Network, 1913, set up to say universal service. This meant that one company gets to control the market, and the government blessed that. So all of that history over the, the 20th century, it was so bad, the prices were so high, the innovation was so deterred that the Department of the Justice had to break up the collusion between the FCC and the private company.